Hi! In this video, you'll learn about a very important UI navigation component, the back button. Let's get started. In this UI, the back button has its own component and it does that because you can also disable it, enable it, and it's a special functionality. There is a script that uh, manages all the back button um, code and you can add it via right click doozy input back button this gets automatically added to your scene when uh, you enter play mode so you really do not have to work with it it's an automated system so let's press play and you'll see that a back button listener will get added and there it is yeah its main functionality is to capture the back button and to react to ui pop-ups ui drawer and so on and let's see the graph. Here we have a back button option. So when we press escape, when we are in two, or maybe in three, uh, it will work automatically. This is the script that uh, is responsible for that. So let's enter play mode. And let's maximize. And if you go to number two, if we press as the escape key or the Android back button escape, it will react. And this is the script that actually performs this operation. So two and three. And again, I can press back two times to go to two and to go to one. So escape and escape. And there you go. It works. And that's it. This is an automated system. You can even disable it either by using the navigation back button and you can disable it from here or you can disable it from code. And that's it for the back button. Thank you.